What a misadventure for Jean-Pierre Dick yesterday towards the end of the day when Saint-Michel Vierbach enters the Forbidden Zone, the famous Antarctic exclusion zone defined by the racing directors to avoid competitors to near-drifting ice. Cette fameuse ZEA. This famous Antarctic exclusion zone is always evolving. During the race, we get pertinent information which we necessarily transmit to the competitors. This is why we sometimes must modify certain points. Jean-Pierre Dick didn't integrate in his navigation software that the ice wall had moved up north, which explains the error for which he had to turn around for and go back to where he went off. As a result, he lost eight hours and got reprimanded humorously by his nearest pursuer. Mon petit Jean -Pierre. My dear Jean-Pierre, he did something silly, didn't he? My little Jean-Pierre. And of course, it couldn't go unnoticed because that's a real hefty one. Congrats, my dear Jean-Pierre, because there isn't much for us to laugh about. Except, my buddy boy, thank you for the great laugh. This one's going to stay in the track record. That's heavy. Come on, Jean-Pierre. Good luck and catch you later. Bye, you all. 3,700 kilometers away at the outposts, the two leaders keep offering us a most beautiful duel. At the break of dawn, after a night during which nine jobs were numbered, the winner... There's Armel Leclerc on Bank Populaire. He's uh, slowly catching up me overnight. So he's obviously come with a bit, bit better breeze, but uh, I'll be back on starboard in, uh, in less than a day, so we look forward to that. In the meantime, I'm gonna push hard as I can and try and uh, stay in touch with this guy. Let's go back 6,400 kilometers to find Louis Burton, ahead of the pack, getting ready to cross the Cape of Good Hope under good escort. Wow, a whale! 100 meters away from the boat. A whale! A whale! No joke. Gives me the shivers. I swear I'm shivering. What a Vendée Globe. <laughs>